Hi friends, this is Gail, Fava of Four, and there's a reason I want you to see a little part of my house, and that'll come at the end. It's a nice little house, right? It's a townhouse. And by the way, for someone who doesn't sew, I did make all those um, top curtain window tops with a serger. And I lined them. Then I put the serger away, never to see it again. So... Okay, now there's a reason for that, and I will show you later. Now let me see if I can get this turned around. Uh. Hi friends, this is Gail, Fava of Four, and I wanted to do a video to show you my finished product, that bridal clutch. By clutch I don't mean purse because it's obviously too big but um, I thought it would be nice for the table for people that bring cards and especially this wedding will be small so there should be plenty of room and in my culture I'm Slovak and Irish but um, and this girl is Czech we tend to give money more than we do gifts. Showers are more for the gifts and we do more money. So I don't know how this will go. But if you saw my last video, you saw where I was kind of stuck on whether I should do the red. And you can see I decided not to. I had a few comments also that suggested I don't do that. It's because her dress is red all red and she's the bride so she can pick out what she wants so what I did I hope you can see I had taken a heavy piece of uh, material that was from a long time ago you know they used to lay them on the beds and I cut it out don't ask me, I just kind of eyed it up. But I know this is like seven inches from here to here. And I had gotten the idea, I can't think of her name, but it was a Just Add Glue series, which is cute. And I watch a lot of videos, so I get some ideas. Anyway, after I cut it out, I covered it with this sparkly, kind of lacy material I had, the whole thing. Okay, and then I put this piece from something, I don't know, it was from a dress or something, from a wedding dress maybe, and I just kind of put that in here to kind of cover up, make it a little different and to kind of cover up where I put that trim, because I wasn't very happy with it after I put it on, um, but this material I had I had a scallop and then what I did was I put I took a lot of stuff off that I had on there I put this trim I love this trim I'm sure you've seen this I think it was Shabalicious or I got it in Ohio somewhere then I put this on top which is Shabalicious and this was a trim I usually have around and I put that on top. Down here, I had a trim that had um, pearls, like long pearls hanging. And then I decided, well, I wanted to layer it a little more, so I took it off. And I put this trim here, which I know I got from Shabalicious. And I have this trim under here. And then, I gotta fix that. Then I had a, um, the flatback pearls that were on a, uh, a roll. So 
I put them here. No, I didn't put them there. I put them here and here. I was trying to cover up this one edge that was the raw edge. Okay. And then down here, I put this trim with that little bit of lace and then wound it around to the back just so it would cover up any raw edges. Then at first I put this trim on. I love this trim. And I think I got this from Chevalicious, I believe. And But I wrapped it all around to the back. So this trim I didn't. I just left it there. And this is what the inside looks like. And I think it looks pretty nice. Then, on the back, you'll see I just have this one trim, and then I did put this trim, but I didn't put the pearls across it. And these appliques were from a wedding dress. I put that on there. And I did find something yesterday. It was They were in silver, and they were monogrammed... I don't know what they're for, really, but I think I'm going to put one on. They're beautiful. I think I'm going to put one on each side or here in the corner. It would be their initials. One was an S. I meant to bring it down. And one is a um, J. So, and then the front. I took off whatever else I had in the red, and I had this from a wedding dress. I had like four of them. And some of them don't didn't have this, but I kind of like that on there. And then I put that trim. I think we all have had this trim sometime or other. But I put these beads, these round beads, on that I'd gotten off of a wedding dress. And then I put little appliques in the other places and just kind of stuck them on. And... This is the same trim that I have on the sides. I have to go over and get some of this glue off. This was something I had, like a silver leaf, and I cut it and I tried to spread it out a little. I put some stamens here and some of these little white shiny flowers. I put a little piece of Velcro here. They have those little circles now you can get. You can't even see them right here. And that's how it turned out. So you have to tell me if you like it. I don't think it's too plain. I don't think it's too fussy. I think it looks kind of elegant myself. So let me know what you think, but that is the finished product, and I'm hoping she'll like it. I'm going to give it to her for like an engagement gift. Um, let me see if you can see close what I did there. Now, when I watched that other video, she had some easy ways. I mean, she just took like a plastic um, placemat folded it over, and started decorating it. But I didn't have a plastic placemat, and I had this heavy material, so... Matter of fact, I think I gave some of it to somebody. It was a bed cover. Well, see, I'm having my coffee, and I didn't have any milk, but I had some of these, this... I'm not a drinker, but I'm not a teetotaler, but I don't really drink, and I had some of this stuff. I don't really know what it is, but it's imported from Ireland, um, Ita, who's my friend from Ireland. So I put a little bit of it in my coffee. I thought I could use it. Okay. One other thing I want to say. The bunny rabbits I made the other day, I decided, I don't know, I took the cotton off and I just stuck my little things I got from Pier 1 last year. 
um, my napkin holders and put them on. Now, if anyone can comment to me in the next couple days and uh, you don't have to do a picture or a VR rather, but I'll give you my email if you send me a picture and let me know if you made any or if you made them a little different. Um, I'll give it until, let me see, eh, maybe Saturday. And everyone who sends me a picture and tells me they made, uh, tried to make them, I'll put your name in a box and I'll send you a little, little box of stuff. Now you have to be a subby, but you don't need many days to do that. And you don't have to do a VR, but um, I will put my email. Well, I'll just give it to you now. You know, if someone's going to hack me or do whatever they do, then they're going to do it. It's G is in Gail, P is in Paul, F is in Fleming, L, M is in Mary, G. It's like Gail P. Fleming without some of the vowels at AOL. Um, because private messaging, you can't send a picture. So if there's some way you can send me a picture that what you've done, um, I'll, by Saturday, I'll send you a little box of doodads. And I do nice doodads. Good. Okay, I'm on this video, I think I have time to show you some flowers I was fooling around making. I made this the other day. Uh, I was watching videos and I watch a lot. And a girl um, showed where you take the, uh, oh, what's it called? Box pleat type of um, ribbon or material and you wrap it around your finger. It's a little bit, I would say, like Margaret's. And then you glue it and you smash it down and this is what you get. Now I put, um, I have to finish this part, but I put this trim on the back and then I stuck some little pieces in here. Isn't that pretty? Was well, not hard. And if you ask, I'll, I'll find her um, video. I just was going through videos and trying different things. Then I made this. Now, I don't know if butterflies have tails. I don't know. But this was one of those ones Margaret made, but it wasn't big enough for me. So I put a little bit of that trim I that material I had that I had sent a lot of people with the flowers on them and I made it a little pinker put a pink flower in and then I bought some of these die cuts Michaels has a lot of things for sale and this ribbon I have no idea what you do with die cuts to be honest with you but I guess this would be one of the things and I put some glossy accents all over it and I put some kind of sparkly dust on it. It takes me more time to do things because I keep thinking of other things to add. But I thought that was cute. Then, this is one of the little flowers I'd gotten from Shabalicious. And then I had this, so I put that in, and I had a piece of this material I cut out and put it in the back. I'm always making some kind of different flower and I'm screwing up a lot on them also. The rolled roses. I made this also. Um, there's a way, there's a bunch of different ways. I know the regular rolled rose is one way, but to make a a different kind of rose. There's another couple really simple ways. Of course, I smashed mine down, so. But I did this, and then I peached up my doily a little bit. 
and they had some flowers, big bouquets, like a f f uh, half price for sale at uh, Michael's. So I bought some, and I cut this off, and I put that in. But I thought that was pretty. Okay. Where's, oh, I did this one too. I kind of made a rolled rose, a flatter one. I did the same thing with this material, put it on top, put a little piece of the lace I had, and then cut some of those little flowers out I bought yesterday. And then I put two um, doilies that I had cut out of something. And I put a little pink, or whatever color that is to match on it. So, they're the easiest flowers really to make. Then I made this the other day out of a piece of trim I had. Now I'm st I still have to do something else. I'll put something in the back. There's a matching silk color that goes this color that goes with it so I'll put something on the back of it. I was just trying to do something with some of the stuff I had. Then, this is another one of those, the last flower I made out of my granddaughter's skirt. I had a little bit left, and I put that in the middle. You can see it. This, this started out to be on that, on this, because of the red. But then I, it got a little gigunda. <laughs> I had this rose here for a long time I'd made without this. Then I have a little, I had a little hat, velvet hat that had feathers and stuff for a doll. And I cut part of it out and I put that there. Then I put a little of this netting. And then I couldn't decide what to put in. So it was such a big flower already, I decided to put that in. So that'll be, have to be for something big. Sometimes my flowers get really big. But I decided not to use that on the clutch. Then, in this little package I got, um, someone sent me, or I bought actually, a grab bag. And I'm not much of a green person, though I'm Irish. But I just may send this to Ida, since she's in Ireland. And she's been sick for a long time. She's in now the hospital. And uh, I keep telling her to send me her. I know they must have zip codes or county codes or whatever it is over there, but she's not sending it to me, and I'm having a hard time getting her package out. Okay, I made this. I just took two pinks, just kind of gathered it together made this one. This one was nice until I screwed it up. But I was making one of those Margaret roses or flowers she was doing. And then I put this on the outside. And then I decided I was dyeing some things. So I thought I'd dye it. First I sprayed it with some paint and then I dyed it and then I, I did too many things. <laughs> So, I'm not that crazy about this one, but I'll figure out something with it. Then this one, this is a huge one. When I was helping my granddaughter make her little diaper bag for a dolly, we were going to do this for a handle. And it was long, and and then she, we decided she didn't want it for a handle because we did something else. So I'd already had this attached to it. So I just twisted it around and made a flower. This will have to be the focal piece for something, that's for sure. But that's that. Then I made a teeny little what I had left of that other material and made one of those little ones like Margaret did. Here's another one I made, but I haven't put anything in the middle yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to. Well, the truth be known, 
I had one of these to put in here and I set it down and I never could find it again. So, one more thing I did, which really I kind of screwed up. I had this really pretty trim, and was just a little of it. So I thought I'd roll it and I put this on it and this. And I guess, you know, there's a flower on this side too. But I'll have to figure out something to do with this because it's not exactly, I'll put something behind it or it'll fit in somewhere where I'm doing something else. So that was my flower fooling around thing this weekend. I was sitting on the porch, it was very nice, it was up to 80. Then I want to ask you guys if you remember, if you're not as old as me, you might not, this flower. This is made out of Kleenex. And when I was younger, when we had bridal showers, wedding showers, we covered umbrellas. And so we all sat down and made tons of these flowers to put all over the umbrella on the outside, you know, shower. And then I just sprayed this to see. But, you know, if you ever really need a flower for something, don't mind me, I'm all messed up. Um, and then I sprayed a little bit of Stiffy on it. That spray Stiffy really does nothing much, but I didn't want it to tear. The other stiffy that you paint on is really, really great, and you, things get stiff, really stiff. I don't know if everything does, but the flowers do. So I just thought I'd check. If anybody wants to know how to make one of these, I'll show you, if you never did this before. Yeah, we didn't couldn't afford all these other things or didn't know how to do them, so the Kleenex boxes came out, and it was the boxes that were the long boxes. Um, they were folded just the right way. So I was fooling around with it yesterday trying to figure out if I was doing it right. But I don't have those um, in the box, but I have the ones you pull out, but I just laid them down and then folded them over. But I did it for fun, just to see. I mean, we made hundreds of these, and I'm sure some of you have too. Okay, I think that's going to be it for this one. It's already way past the time I planned on taking. And I do have another video I need to do for uh, Mabel so I can get in the timeline for her challenge, Mabel Eckler. She extended it, I believe, until the 6th, which I thought was very nice. So... Um, okay, I'm going to go upstairs and see if I have enough time to show you why I wanted you to see my living room kitchen area, so hang on. Okay, I just thought I'd stop in the living room. Now, you have to admit, it's a decent house. I keep it fairly well, and... Um, I mean, there's things I need to put away, but it's, uh, okay, so, and then this is, I don't think I ever showed you my shabby chic bathroom. I'm trying to make it as shabby chic as I can. I put that up. I put that up. I took that piece of material I had and made a shower curtain, even though we don't really need a shower curtain on this door. I made that tie. And I put that up and I bought some pretty, pretty little towels. And I made that little thing. I made the flower on there. There's one of Margaret's sachet holders. 
Okay, and then I did these. These are those roses I was telling you that were easy to make. Okay. Okay, we're coming up the steps. This is my Goodwill box. I have stuff stacked there. Um, and this is the kids' room. My grandkids come. Um, and it looks nice and neat, right? My one curtain is still off because that's a long story. I had to wash it because my grandkids uh, had a little accident. But now, the reason for that is I showed you what a mess I can do when I do a project. I decided I just can't help myself. It's the way it has to be. It's just, as soon as I get it all together, then it's a mess again. Okay. But, this is the part that's becoming overwhelming. Here's my bed. I, I have it all, it doesn't take long to clean up. I have it all straightened up. And some t days, I will tell you, if it's in the box, is okay. I push it to the side and sleep on one side. But I did talk to a girl yesterday at Michael's, and she says she paints, and she does the same thing. Of course, she's a lot younger than me. You'd think I'd know better. So I got up and had these ideas, and I finished Mabel's thing I made. And you could just see it's all a mess. Now, some of you probably just want to throw up, like my sister and my mother, both my sisters. But that's okay. It's my house. I'm by myself, and I can do what I want to do, right? Okay, I just wanted to... Admit my shame. <laughs> and there's, I even brought my glue gun in here. I'm a mess. And my crackers for the middle of the night. But anyway, um, if anyone by Saturday can show me a picture, a normal natural picture, not one that you make up, of the mess they make. If they're not a perfectionist, like a lot of people. I am a perfectionist in a lot of things I do. But when it comes to this, and I'm not saying it doesn't drive me crazy, I just can't help myself. I guess being here by myself, sometimes I'll sit in bed and looks like the cat has a little toy there. And that's what I do. So by Saturday, if you can send me a picture... That's my mail. I do this instead of the mail. <laughs> if you can show me a picture of your mess that you're not as perfect as we see on the video, then I'll also draw your name and send you a package. Okay, I'm sure you're sick of seeing my, my mess. So... Au revoir, my friends. See you next time.